Hello and welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Nicola Johnston and it's day three of Film 4's Fright Fest and we're having an absolute scream as we talk to the cast and crew of Frankenstein's Army. What is that? Don't touch it! What are you? Congratulations, because this is your debut feature film. I know that you've worked a lot in the art department and you've also made short films. So what was the trans what was the, the, the experience from going from the art department short films to feature film for you? Um, it was almost shocking because uh, it's a 180 degrees return from the drawing table to be the center of a social uh, structure, which is uh, totally uh, a new way of um, living almost. So by it's really uh, making me a richer person. So, you know, uh, besides just uh, making a movie, it also gives something extra to your, uh, yeah, to your life. So it's really a positive thing. And your, your film sold out at Rotterdam Film Festival. What yeah. was that experience like for you? You must have been so proud. Yeah, I was really proud. I also didn't expect it. Uh, I thought it will be a niche in, in this horror genre and suddenly it was accepted so broadly, so that was re uh, I was really surprised, yeah. You also wrote the story for Frankenstein's Army, so going from the story to seeing your film on the screen, what was that journey like for you? In the beginning I was very, uh, I was very anxious uh, because um, I didn't know if I will make translation complete, but at the end it was like uh, seeing your, your imagination coming alive. And normally you have just have a sheet of paper which is, doesn't, is not alive and suddenly it's a complete world with everything moving around and you, know, you give it a soul and that is, uh, you know, it's a real, it's, I'm really privileged that I got the chance to do this. It's, uh, One last question um, in regards to art department and yeah. the costumes look absolutely fabulous. Did you have a say in the costume design and the set design? Yeah, I, well, I designed everything myself, but I needed to do this to convince the producers. So I just drew all the costumes and also from the actors, and I tried to incorporate the, each character into the costume, so the costume becomes a character of its own. Like, uh, uh, you can also see that classic characters like Darth Vader of Mickey Mouse, the character is embedded in the design. So that's what I try to do also with all the creatures, that the creatures, each creature should be a character. And therefore I think uh, this movie is almost a character movie. Only the Nazis would think of something like this. Throwing dead people together. Giving them knives for hands. It was challenging, very challenging sometimes. Um, First week we were shooting in the woods um, and we were running all the time. There was no acting involved. We were tired <laughs> by the end of every single shot and then had to do it one more time and again and again. Um, and yeah, it was this film crazy. business, man. Welcome to show business, my friend. What he's talking about. It's, like a baby, it's, it's cold there. <laughs> yeah, it's, so what? It's snowy even I come though we're from russians Siberia, it's just you know, it is minus 30 in the summer just yeah, deal with it i come from so you're the trying to say it was physically demanding this yeah. shoot yeah. yeah and mentally as well obviously and we were shooting in the abandoned mines field so um running through the corridors with quite a lot of dust and not much air but it was great fun seeing all the monsters coming out first both read the script, did the script change at all as you started to shoot the film? Were you allowed to improvise? Um, put it this way, I worked a little bit on, the, um, on, on my character Dimitri, um, through whose eyes we see the action unfold because it's kind of like a, a first person shooter mode uh, film. Um, we tried to make it more personable, we tried to create um, um, it kind of enrich his background and uh, give him a hidden agenda uh, because it wasn't the script. He was um, um, making, a, he was in a mission for the Soviet government to make a propaganda film about uh, Soviet soldiers liberating the oppressed um, Germany. So, kind of com commemorating their heroic deeds, which were heroic without you know, undermining the, uh, uh, the role of the Russian army, the Red Army. Um, uh, but we also tried to. Um, um, we, I came up with this idea that perhaps he is also um, 
uh, his family was affected by the repressions that were going on at the time, um, and that perhaps his family was um, um, were political prisoners, and that he has to kind of make this film really well, you know, and and, so and break his ass. Yeah, I gave himself a background basically, and, and yeah, and I think that that that. Um, 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 I hope generate more empathy for the character, which kind of lifts um, the whole um, plot line. Without giving myself too much credit, but you know what I mean. You kind of have to make it more real for yourself. You have to try and make it believable. Yeah, don't make you? it more believable. Yeah. So you know, why are you there? Are you just like you know, a pawn in the game, and you just you know work for the government, and that's it, or is there something else? Um, you tapped on the shoulder. And it was uh, an absolute we, we don't pleasure. mind. We can, we can chat all day. <laughs> I would like to just. Can I have one more question? In terms of the historical side to this film, did you sit down at a table with Richard and talk about the history side of it, or not really, or well, you just left your own devices? I don't remember talking about history in particular. No. We are more talking about the characters and what their background would be, as yeah. uh, Alexander said. Because it was important, you know, when there is a bunch of soldiers and there is, like, um, Eight, eight guys. Um, you, you, you need to, be, and, and what I mean is that all male, no females. You have to make kind of a f colourful collage of characters, and they are they are they are written differently. But I think yeah, we talk more about the uh, the characters and left to our own devices when it came to researching the background at the time, the political, economic, you know, uh, social situations, and you know what soldiers were going through, and watching some films um, um, that were made at the time, some documentaries that really helped.